What's up, gang? It's Willie Rebuild, baby. Back with another one. I'm back on old Cutlass. I know some of y'all about to get mad with me because I ain't walk y'all through the process step by step. But sometime, um, you gotta, you gotta go ahead and get it done. And then I came over here to record when I was putting the mold in. I say, you know what, the cutlass, I'm gonna take the cutlass and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take the cutlass and walk them through the cutlass step by step. But then when I tried to do that, the customer, he came here every day while I was working on the call and he didn't wanna be on camera. So, you know, it's business before YouTube, cause YouTube don't pay me, he pay me. So I gotta go with, he don't wanna be on camera. I'm just gonna knock the bitch out. But as y'all can see, I done went ahead and dropped it in. Um, don't get me wrong, this one here put up a little fight. Put up a little fight. This side on the mount, it dropped right in. Um, this side over here, I had to fight with it and fight with it. And finally I got the boat through it, the line up. I don't know what the deal was with it. And then by this being a, a, a three-speed transmission in here, I had to go and get the bracket to fit on my cross member. I might jack it up for y'all tomorrow and show y'all what I was talking, what I'm talking about, but I had to get a bracket to make the cross member work. But other than that, everything is working out how it's supposed to be working out. Just sometimes, you know, a call fight with you a little bit, but you gotta make a little, uh, you gotta improvise a little bit, gang, and get it to work. But I done put the wire harness on it, I done ran a few lines, got the wire harness just sitting here. I gotta clean up some of these wires. I got my starter wires up here. Starter wires right here. Starter wire, tip wire, all sending wire, my key on power, all pressure wire, all that shit sitting right here. The all pressure wire and the uh, Temp, sen temp sensor wire, I'm not gonna use that because for the time being, he had the old school gauges in here. So I'm gonna put that back like it was because he gonna get the decoder digital and put in there. And then I just run the wires off the decoder digital out to the car straight from the decoder digital and do that like that. But I got the radiator in, GTO radiator, 04 to 06, GTO radiator fans, as you can see, sitting in there tight and pretty, like factory, came on the LS car. You ain't gotta worry about if it got enough CFMs and all this shit here to keep it cool. It's gonna keep it cool. Um, 5.3, just a 5.3. For y'all that's just joining the channel, ain't nothing but a 5.3 um, cam, big cam, LS1 intake, uh, got a 92 millimeter throttle body for it, putting the R4 compressor back on it, a uh, new condenser, a uh, new radiator, used fans, uh, what else we got, gang? Got a uh, got a uh, Grand National gas tank that I'm getting ready to put on. You see, I got the lines in line ran for it. Got the in line already ran from the front to the back. As you can see, I got it hooked up on a fuel rail. Just a little tip: if you use the cutoff wheel. Like I do a lot of time, if you use that cutoff wheel to cut these fuel lines, what you want to do is 
before you get ready to crank up the coat, before you get ready to crank up the coat, gang, you want to take this line off, get you a jug or something, and put this line in it. Turn your key on to power up the fuel pump a few times. And when you do that, you will see all those shavings from you cutting the line with the cutoff wheel to be in the line. So make sure you flush the lines out before you go to try to crank the car, or else all that shit gonna be in your uh in your injectors. 42 pound injectors in it. Um got the ECU in the back. Got to drop it off to the tuner to get it tuned. Get the base tuned in it. Y'all know the hornets I use. I do that to help y'all, so I'm going to show y'all what I use. I might not tell you step by step how to do it. Because if you ain't mechanically inclined and you go and try to make do this shit off of what you see on YouTube, 9 out of 10, you're going to fuck your car up. So pay somebody to do it. If you can't change a flat on a fucking bike, then don't go try to do no swap. Pay somebody to do it. So I don't mind showing you the parts that I use. If they work, was they gonna work? If if they don't work, then I ain't gonna tell you to use that shit. But um, yeah, gang, probably like, probably like um, Probably like about a weekend, I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. I'm waiting on him to bring me the alternator, um, compressor. Um, what else I need? Well, that's all I need from him. The rest of the stuff that I need to crank it, I'll probably go and uh, pick that stuff up tomorrow. My battery cables, um, well, the wire to make my battery cables. Uh, what else I need to get? I need to give me some more wire so I can make my run to my fuel pump. And then I need to uh, get some wire, same type of wire. I'm going to use to extend these to the starter so I can power it up. But other than that, gang, that's about it with the old cutlass. I'm going to put fire in the hole for it. Um... We gonna put, I got all the shit, uh, new evaporator and all that shit, new blower motor, all everything going in new. This front clip coming off, he got the European front. That's why we took the hood off the car so he can take the hood with him so he can sell it or whatever he gonna do. And um, once I get it running, I'm gonna let him take the car so he can um he can um start switching out some of those parts like the fenders and all that stuff there because i got a couple of more uh i got a couple of more swaps i gotta do so i don't want to tie the spot up as you can see willie rebuild limited on space so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let him take the call i'm gonna um do the body work and stuff on the fenders like paint them in the insides and stuff like that because on this car the fenders yeah gang like i was saying the fenders on this car the paint only come to right here the color of the car and everything else is black and that's how we're gonna put it back so the other fenders that he bought, cause he gonna change these fenders, cause they got these these fenders damaged. They damaged under the bottom in a few spots on both sides. I think the passenger one was wasn't as bad, but he wind up getting both fenders. So I told him, I said, man, um, don't try to do it like Red Nest, cause this car not as bad as Red Nest. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help him do all the body work on the fenders and stuff before we put it on the coat. And once he put them on the coat, like I told him, we can just run the tape line up under here 
once we paint all that up black and stuff, we gonna do that off the car because he getting ready to take all this shit off of that. That's why I didn't paint it. That way I can clean it up when it's off and then paint it. But we gonna run our tape line under the bottom of that fender and spray the car with the hood off it and shit. And that way we'll have it looking back factory. All the time, you don't have to strip the whole car. Sometimes you're causing yourself more good, more bad than good by stripping the whole car because all you're doing is opening a can of worms. So on this car, we're not gonna strip the whole car. We're gonna go over it, make sure everything is good, clean all everything up. If we need to take something off, like a door or something to fix some surface rust or whatever, we're gonna do that, put it back on the car. But we gonna have full bill with it, gang. It's gonna be a full bill. Just stay tuned, like I told y'all. It's gonna be a full bill. Already got the wheels and all that shit for it. Already got the uh, bucket seats and shit to, we gonna take these 60, 40 seats out. So, it's gonna be a full bill, in and out, top to bottom, gang. Stay tuned. It's Willie Rebuild, bringing y'all some of what I'm doing, not all of what I'm doing. Because, like I say, if the customer don't want to be on camera and he coming over here and stuff like that, then, you know, I can't get the footage to y'all, which I had everything set up where I really wanted to show y'all the whole process of how I do a swap and, you know, what all I use and stuff like that. But if he right there and watching me work on this call, which I don't mind if the people won't come and watch me work on the call, which I work on the swaps and shit after hours anyway, cause I got other shit that I be working on during the day. So I don't mind them coming sit and watch and talk shit and keep me company, that's cool gang. But if they don't wanna be on camera, ain't nothing I can do about that. But it's Willie Rebuild. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I got another cut list coming to the channel. I'm gonna make sure that I get all the footage on camera for y'all. I got the tripod and the trunk of the car. I'm gonna make sure I get everything on film on the camera for y'all so y'all can see. It's Willie Rebuild over and out, gang.